I'm Redon from Boys and Girls Hairstyles. Today I have a super exciting cut and change makeover that we are going to do. Um, this is Sandra. She uh, had seen her cousin at a funeral anyway and got my information and came from St. George. So I'm really excited to have her. Um, she's already darling and I cannot wait to show you what we are going to do. And take this yellow hair she's away. <laughs> The she, yellow hair is like going away. Yellow, get it gone. Go, anyway, I love it. So I'm like, okay, hey, perfect. We can do that. But she, and, and I told her, because she's like, what change do you want to do? What What do you think? Like, she has a great face for a lot of, of different. Um, and I'm going to I'm gonna show you, obviously, the cut after, you know, this video. But I'm going to show you the color video first. Um, so back here, we are getting rid of length. I am going to just take these front pieces because we're going to leave those. But we are cutting the back up and we are going to do kind of a longer A-line back here. Um, so I'm going to come down here because obviously it's going to shrink up a little bit and then I'm going to cut it up a little bit. So when I go to just cut off this hair so we don't have to color it, I mean, I'm leaving it a little bit longer than what the actual cut is going to be but you obviously want to do that because you want enough hair to work with. But there's no sense. Ooh, Sandra, are you okay? <laughs> Don't do it. Don't I mean, please. she's had shorter hair, but it's been a long time. And so she's like, she's ready, ready, ready for a change. But you know, it's, it's definitely always scary to, you know, do a big change like that. So obviously it's not even, but we're getting the gist of it, right? Like getting that off. Okay, now what I wanna do is, I wanna do a window underneath. Um, I wanna bring some depth out in her hair. We are gonna get rid of the yellow. Um, that's the biggest thing that she wants to do, is get rid of the yellow. <laughs> so you're definitely gonna brighten this up. Um, the other thing is I'm going to add a little bit of depth throughout the blonde that I'm gonna put in here. Um, as soon as I get this window colored, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm using a five double N back here to cover this. Okay, so you can just see I go along the, the hairline there, or you know, where I've parted. Okay, go here, and then I just go back and forth, make sure this is covered. You want to saturate it. Nicely, I take little sections. That way you can make sure you get it saturated nicely. Um, the reason I'm doing a window is, like I said, I wanna add some depth in there. And then a lot of people like to have a little bit darker underneath just because it's more, uh, that's how hair is. Like if anybody's noticed, your hair is definitely darker underneath than it is, you know, from the sun or whatever on the top. So, okay, so I like to just come down this middle part, of course, color all of that. And then I go to the sides after the middle. Yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am seriously so, so excited. And she's darling. I'm like, she looks like she's just this. Well, you are young, but like, no, I'm way busy. younger than I thought. I'm and I'm like, 60 in two, in two days or four days. Yeah. So see, and you done. look like you're, oh man. Oh, and so, and doing this cut is going to be so fun. You're just going to watch like your pictures totally change you. Like, <laughs> oh, it's going to be fun. I definitely love change. Yep, it's super fun. And especially, it's, it's kind of funny, like, so my cousin, she is the one that videotapes behind the scenes, Brenna, she's a sweetheart. Um, it's so funny, we was just talking earlier, she's like, um, Sandra's like, well, maybe you should should I just go short, short? Or, you know, shorter than I was talking to her about. 
Anyway, and Brenda's like, yeah, I feel like, because she, you know, Sandra kind of kept bringing it up. Well, anyway, she showed us a picture of her shortest hair and I'm like, oh, easy peasy, we can do this. <laughs> and then she'll, you'll probably be like, you know what? Maybe I should have done this a while ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just because change is so good. Like it just makes you feel like you want to do your hair and you want to, you know, because sometimes you get in a slump and you're like, eh, but honestly, it can help so, so much. Okay, so I'm just taking those little sections, going back and forth like this, making sure that it's through each of the strands so it's saturated. Okay, so I'm just making sure all the little end hairs are in. Okay, and then I just kind of rub this back and forth, making sure that it's saturated well. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put a clip here. Just take off my gloves. And then put a foil over that. Okay, sweet. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix some 6N with 10 volume. And this is gonna be the light brown that I put up through the top area. So it's, it's not super light, it's not dark, it's just kind of in between. This is a good um, color to add depth. It's gonna kind of make our eyes pop a little bit. It won't be dark enough to really pop a ton, but just enough so it's gonna show off the blonde even more. Um, sometimes, it's easier to do that is to add a little bit of dark um, to blonde. It shows off the blonde a little more just because sometimes if you get too much blonde, it's just the same blah. So if you add a little bit of, of dimension for the color, it can really, really add. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do three blonde. So little sections here. I'm gonna do medium weave, which means how much hair I'm taking up in the weave. So you can see that, that would be a medium weave. Okay, this is the bleach with 40 volume. You're gonna to wanna to come up close enough, you know, up here on the foil, but not too, too close. If you get it too close, um, when it warms up, the bleach always swells. So you wanna give it a little bit of room so you don't have little tiger stripes in there. Now, if you can see where there's blonde, you don't wanna to go totally over the blonde and just kind of, just kind of going down into it because you obviously can't put bleach over blonde or you'll have some hair falling out. <laughs> so you don't wanna do that. Okay, now I'm coming to the side of this one. You doing okay, dear? Oh, fine. Good, 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 good. Okay, you, you wanna make sure your sections are not too, too wide. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down. I fold the foil over, I set the foil down and then pull the hair down and hold the hair tight. And you can see I put my fingers down on the foil to hold the foil. Then, that's where I bring this brush in. Then I come underneath to hold the foil while I finish putting the color on. Okay, let me just kind of put that down into that color. Then I push the hair away, flatten that. And then when I lift this up, I put my comb underneath. And as I push up, I'm gonna pull down on with these fingers. And it might take you a minute to get, but once you get it, you'll be just fine. Okay, again, just another little section here. Okay, I'm gonna hold this out. I'm 
medium weave here. You can see I need to do that again because that one area was not even. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this up, put it over my comb. Okay, and come up here. Again, hold my hand underneath. Some people like to use a board, and if you like to use a board, that's fine. I just use my hand. Okay, so I wanna show you guys. So see, it here in her hair, there's different colors. So there's a little dart there, so I'm gonna kinda of go over this piece, and I'm gonna move that. I'm gonna move these lighter pieces kind of out of the way, cause see, there's a more orange brown piece there, and I wanna get that. But I don't wanna go over that other blonde, so I'm kind of going around that. Move that blonde to the side so I can get those couple dark pieces in there. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna move that out of the way. Okay, hold that up. Then I just fold in the corners. Some people like to fold in one corner some people don't like to fold corners, so you just take your pick. I like to, I feel like it holds the foils in place. Okay, second section. Okay, bring the foil over. Hold the hair up, foil, and then hold down. Hold with your fingers on that foil. And just kind of swipe your brush down in. So it blends in with that color. Like I said, if there's some brown pieces, make sure you get those. Just slide the blondes out of the way. Okay, now another section. So you can see I go middle, whoops, let me grab the other one. Middle, side, side. Sorry, I had to grab my other comb. I'm throwing combs. <laughs> Usually do that. Okay. Again, medium. Push that aside. Oh my goodness, and I just keep dropping. There we go. Okay, one more blonde over here. Um, and then I'm just going to do one more row of blonde. So, what that means is I'm doing three blonde to one brown. That is because we want to brighten her hair. So we do want the three blonde in there. And then the one brown to add a little bit of depth, which we'll pull in with that window underneath. So it'll be really pretty when, you, when it's all put together. Okay, this one's the blonde. Now, say you're just starting and it's gonna take you know, a while to get to the top and the sides. Um, maybe do the bleach with like a 20 volume. And then when you get to the end, you know, you can add the 40 and then that way the 40 can catch up to the 20. Because sometimes if you use 40, you know, too soon and by the time you get to the other areas, it'll be too processed below. Okay, now just a little bit through this gold area, I'm barely, barely sliding over that gold. Cause you don't wanna put a ton on that, but just enough to lighten it a tiny bit. And like, I mean tiny bit, so be careful with that. Okay, another section. Well, you made my day <laughs> to do this. Like it makes work so fun and just, it's, I'm always about change. I love it. 
I mean, I love hair no matter what, but big changes like this and like seeing people change and be so happy and be, it's just so much fun. So thank you. I'm well, so you glad you called. you your hair the same way for 60 years, it's time <laughs> to make a change. You're like, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. But that's good. So time, I'm to, glad. time to get a tattoo <laughs> and change your that's, hair. There you go, there you go. <laughs> That's right. Anybody when out there at that age, there yeah. you go. You should get your tattoo <laughs> and you should change your hair. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> I can't do the tattoo for you, but by being I can do your hair. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be doing a tattoo. Right, right. But you know what? That's It's fun, right? What a teasing. Well, we've been having, my, my daughter and I have been having a conversation for since she was in her, I don't know, 10, 12, that right, when I right. turn 60, I'm getting a tattoo. So she says to me the other day, Mom, you're going to be 60 this week. Are we going to get a tattoo? Oh, How like, cute. She's like, for uh, all those it, years, she's all like. All those years, she's all remembered that when I turn 60, I'm getting a tattoo. Okay, that is so cute. <laughs> so you I almost have it. to go get a tattoo when you're right. 60. You're right? like, okay. <laughs> yep, that's too cute. I love it. And I love that she's like, hey. It's time. That's the birthday we've been waiting right. for. Right. <laughs> That's so cute. Because we know mom would never get a tattoo, so let's go do it, mom. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it's that year. That's fine. It's good, good. Same thing, I'm doing medium. Now, this one is the dark. Um, like I said, it's the 6N. That is so cute. That's so fun. And it's weird because, like, you know, talking to her since she's that young, like you think that day will never come. Like you're just living this life, right? And then yes. all of a sudden you're like, wait, wait, what the heck? Yeah. How is that like now? Yeah. You know? How did sixty come? How do I? You know, my youngest is now twenty-four. How does that happen? Right. That is so true. Oh my gosh. So crazy. Okay, so the brown you're going to cover the whole hair strand. And we're just gonna do one, um, one row of the brown. So it's three to one is what it's called. So three blonde to one of the brown. And that means, you know, sections. So after I do this brown, I'm gonna show you one more thing. Okay, cover all that. Okay, now, so I kind of went around this way. Now what I'm gonna do is I always like to find their part and where they're gonna part, okay? And then I start taking my foils forward um, to the part. So that's what I'm gonna do next is just do three to one. So I'm gonna go up three, blondes right next to each other and then I'm going to do one of the brown. So three blonde, one brown. I'm going to go straight up her part and then I always like to to do the side which they part first. That process is first and then I come and do this side. So I'm going to go straight up. I'm going to do three blonde, one brown, three blonde, one brown. And then same thing on the sides. I'm going to go three blonde, one brown. Um, okay, and then we're gonna let that process, and as soon as that is done, um, we'll show you the haircut video, um, and then the style. That's gonna be fun. So anyway, thanks so much, you guys, and um, hopefully you love it at the end.